on a scale of one to five, five being a really good gift, like you would want this, one being no, please don't. No, one. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's go. Dangerous. What? That's a gift that you have to do yourself. I wouldn't want that either. Oh my. Alright. Hey everyone, it's Nick and I'm back with another video. And today I have a special guest with me. You can introduce yourself. Hey everybody, I'm Quentin. This is my best friend, my ride or die. This is my big brother. <laughs> And the best thing about having a big brother is getting a guy's perspective on things. So I had the idea to do a Google search for Valentine's Day gifts for your boyfriend. Now, I know this is my brother, but like I said, this is the best, I mean, the best thing about having a brother is getting the guy's perspective on it. So I Googled this for gifts for your boyfriend and I picked the very first thing that came up. Okay, <laughs> and on that list, it said it was 40 non cheesy items. But Quentin here is going to tell us are they really cheesy or not? You ready, Quentin? 40. Oh no, we only do 10. <laughs> we only do it 10. We only do it 10. So, hey guys, Nick here. I hope you're enjoying the video and I hope it's super helpful and you're able to find the perfect gift for your loved one if it's your first Valentine's Day. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I love Valentine's Day when it's your first Valentine's Day. Probably because I've never had a second. Hope you're enjoying the video. Hope it's helpful. I have to stop to thank our sponsor. The sponsor for today's video is my mother. She provided all the beverages, snacks. She provided an area for us to film. She can also be heard in the background of the video along with my two nieces. So if you hear any rumbling, ramaging, smacking, talking, any noise in general that's not me or my brother, it's just my nieces and my mom. So. Don't even pay it any attention. Don't listen to my mother's opinions because she she really she really don't know about what's hip and stuff. Like she know, but she was giving everything ones and I don't listen to her. Hope you enjoyed the video. Ignore the background noise and I'll see you all soon. Bye. Guys, so this is the list. Like I said, I picked out my I picked out the top ten that I thought were really good gifts, and we're gonna see what Quentin says. So Quint, on a scale of one to five, five being a really good gift, like you would want this. One being no, please don't buy this. Okay. Okay. All right. First thing on the list is I don't know if you'll know what this is, but I'll explain it if you don't. A 100 movies scratch off poster. Do you know what that is? Yes. What is it? It's like a poster where you scratch off. And whatever movie is revealed, you get that movie. Scale of one to five, what is the hundred movies scratch off poster? I would say three. I could live with it or without it. Okay. I think that's a good gift though. For if you have if you had a girlfriend. If I had a girlfriend, I would just watch Netflix with her. Number two, I already know you're gonna want this. Joggers. Joggers? Yeah. Those are amazing. I would say four though. Four, one out of five. Um Cause I haven't heard all the rest of the choices. <laughs> okay. All right. Joggers is a four. A long distance touch bracelet set. So I thought this was an okay gift if you are truly long distance. So if okay. you touch it, if it's a bracelet, you touch it, it'll vibrate to the other person's bracelet. Oh. So I thought that. For, for long distance, I would say maybe a two. I'm not. I actually see this on a lot of lists. I didn't think it was that good of a gift either. I mean, I think it's okay if it's long distance, but I mean, if you live down the street, no. Yeah. Okay. Number four, a mini Bluetooth speaker. I would say a four. Oh, that's a good one. I really like music. So. Number five, a personalized picture frame. So it'll say like y'all's name and then the year y'all started gave, dating. You did that before. No, I would not be interested be in that. Don't be telling my business. I would not <laughs> like that. <laughs> Pictures are a good gift. Now, the the gift I gave wasn't personalized. It was a picture frame, but yeah. it was it didn't have our name on it. I say one on that one. I say one. I would not want that. <laughs> All right. Number six. Um, <laughs> number six. I think this is good. I actually used to have this. A Bluetooth beanie headset. It's like a beanie that plays music. Sounds dangerous. What? No. One. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven. A DIY mini golf game. 
So it's, it was, um, I can show you a picture of it, but it was just like something you could have in your house. Mm -hmm. I thought it would be nice to give to a guy, you know, because he'd be having his friends over and stuff. What's DIY about it, though? Uh, you set it up yourself. It's like a, it's like, I don't even know. I'm so it's a picture. gift that you have to do it yourself. <laughs> I wouldn't want that either. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I would like a golf set that's already together. It's mini golf. It's like in your house. It's like mm -hmm. a you have to place the um the putt or the holes, whatever. Mm -hmm. You have to place those. And then it came with like little flags, I think. So you could, you could say where they were at. Okay. And then it had like the little golf clubs. It's not a it's something to keep in your house. Okay, I would say a three then. I okay. like golf, but I would have to actually see what it looked like. I thought it'd be a good gift. For guys who like have their friends over a lot and for guys who have kids. Like I thought that might be a cute gift for you because Quentin has a daughter who we might have seen in my vlog. Go check out my vlog if you haven't seen it yet. Um come on in here, Yogi. This is my child. This is Yogi. This is Yogi the basketball star. We actually just came from one of her games. I'm gonna insert a clip of her playing today. It's actually really cool. Ooh. Oh, that's my knee. Hi. <laughs> Cam, do you want to come in? Okay. I said, hey, y'all. <laughs> okay, number eight is a monogrammed wallet. Real quick. I actually didn't have this on the list. I told my mom this gift, and she said that's a very excellent gift. So this one, my mom said is a good gift. So what do you think? Okay. What, like, explain it. A monogram, a wallet is like uh, the wallet with your initials on it, basically. Or with your name. Name initials. No. Okay. Uh, I'll say a three. Ooh, a three. three. Now this one I thought was good. Number nine. You might like this one. Number nine. A football greatest plays coaster. So a coaster with football mm -hmm. plays on it, but like the greatest plays of all time. Yeah, it's about like a wallet. I'll say a three. Okay. <laughs> it's like a wallet. <laughs> Number 10, a personalized overnight bag. So same as the wallet, it should have your name or initials on it, but it'll be your overnight bag. Which is like a like a duffel type bag. Okay. I would say a four. I get okay. a four. Okay. That's not bad. So none of these gifts got fives, did they? No. The only two that got four was the overnight bag and what else you said? The joggers? I think yeah. that's the only two that got the jog four. it was one other thing. What was the speaker? The, the speaker, Bluetooth speaker. Bluetooth speaker. So that would be cool. Okay. What would you want the most off of this list? Um, I got. I would want the speaker, but I got so many of them. That's what I thought too. I was like, that's a good gift, but who doesn't already have a Bluetooth speaker? But some people break theirs, lose them. No, people need one. Need mm. some. And what was the price list on this stuff? Okay, so all of these gifts are under $50, but I am gonna have the price inserted. As I'm saying them to you, I'm gonna be putting the price on the screen as well. So you guys will already know the prices. Quentin doesn't know the price of any of them. The most expensive on this list, I will tell you. Okay, the most expensive on the list was the joggers at $49, but I know that you can find joggers cheaper than that because i was actually gonna get you some joggers uh for your birthday <laughs> but probably because everything is under 50 that's probably why everything got full i can see that yeah and then this is also for your first valentine's day i feel like 50 dollars is a good budget if this is your first valentine's day together mm -hmm. what do you think yeah but i would say like a five cheap gifts would be like a, a car cleaning set oh something that is a good car gift. With, you know something that a man can use yeah a car cleaning set ladies a car cleaning set so what comes in a car cleaning set but what yeah, like some tire shine a little thing to scrub the car where it don't leave streaks on the car uh some air freshener you know stuff like that just a little you know all it costs is maybe five to ten dollars a piece put it all in a bucket like put our, it all in a bucket yeah our mom did that for him and well, for him and my brother so my other brother i have two brothers guys good job or a $50 Uber Eats pass. Uh, Quentin is one of the people that we really want that, I think. I don't know. $50. A $50 Uber Eats pass. That's what he's saying is another good gift. So a car cleaning set and a $50 Uber Eats pass. What would you want the least out of that list? Like, absolutely not. The Bluetooth hoodie. I would not wear it. It's not a hoodie, it's a beanie. Bluetooth beanie. I would not wear it. <laughs> All right. So stay away from that one. And last question that I have, 
What is the best Valentine's Day gift that you've ever received? One eternity later. I don't know what the best Valentine's Day gift I ever got was. But all right, guys. <laughs> That is today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 1K. Quentin, are you subscribed? 1K? 1K. We're only at like Woo! 100. 1K! Woo! Get into it! Quentin, are you subscribed? No. What? <laughs> Okay, everybody else is subscribed. Make sure you're subscribed so that you can be the first to know when I post a video. Um, thank you all for checking out this video. Quentin, you want to click that like button? Click the like button. Hit a comment. Y'all, hit a comment. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. Let us know. Did you like this? Was this helpful? Do you want us to do more videos together? Put it in the comments. Let us know. Quentin, do you want to plug your Instagram at all? Or Yogi's? Um, you can follow my Instagram at boynton.inc. That's Boynton.inc. And you can also follow my child's Instagram, Yogi.Boynton. <laughs> Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Culture by Nick and on my Facebook, Nick Speaks. And I will see you all in the next one. Quint, do you want to close it out? Not a love song, not another love song. Number four, a mini Bluetooth speaker. I ain't got nothing Hold on, here. mama. Y'all keep talking. Come on now, quiet on set. the whole time. Okay. In a personalized overnight bag. So same as the wallet, it'll have your name or initials on it. Stop chewing so loud. That's not right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How long she been doing that? Get out of here. Wait, hold up. No, I know I gave you a bear though. I gave you a bear. Where is that then? You, I think you lost it. No, you ain't gave me no bear. I, I, I know I have. About the time your mom gave you that solid chocolate Hershey's kiss, wasn't that a very big gift? Not a love song, not another love song. Not a love song, not another love song. Ran up the check, no safety on what you get. You know I'm saying it. All year was getting you kissed. Can't lie, I know I been gone. Just trying to make a I know you wanted me home, don't understand